uh, hi friends good afternoon you are watching CMA leaf channel which is for CMA student please subscribe to the channel that is a CMA leaf and click on bell icon so you'll get the upcoming videos let us start today I'm going to discuss about uh, June 2018 indirect tax uh, question paper which is objective type before coming suggested answer I updated uh, one video regarding objectives and uh, I had some doubt with uh, some objective questions so today whatever the we discussed there and whatever here whatever the changes we will make and please update yourself also with this video because that and this some changes will come some uh, uh, conf conflictions are there so you can watch this video also please let us start now uh, that is without suggested answer I just solved this with suggested answers I'm just giving answer uh, so let us start now uh, this is GST uh, for intermediate examination indirect tax group 2 CMA intermediate GST section A that is first question GST has replaced the following laws that is option D both B and C because customs is there VAT and central excise abolished so both b and c applicable that is option d gst is a dash dash based tax destination based tax i gst is i stand for integrated the chairperson of gst council is finance minister of india okay uh fifth one the gst law the phrase goods does not include money and securities okay till here whatever i told and suggested answer it is correct match the following uh uh, column agricultural activities exempt uh, exempt from GST casual taxable person making compulsory registration in integrated goods and services collected by central government transaction value when the price of sole consideration re retention of accounts 72 months this is also correct whatever I am created old video and new so some contradiction will come in the here uh, some false some true just some some points there one two three points are there just make update who, who watched the old videos and this is new videos as per suggested answer that as per not suggested answer but till here it is correct some points are here and there just I will tell you just see this video okay let us state the true and false here the, when the goods are imported into India CGST is levied so this is uh, I said false in suggested answer also it is false the highest rate of the tax levied under IGST 28% I said true it is also true in suggested answer also GST will not abolish all the indirect taxes levied in in India I said false but it is actually true just uh, this is true okay third GST will not abolish all the indirect taxes levied in India it is true GST threshold limit for not this two I didn't told because I had confusion so I didn't uh, told anything so the threshold limit of north eastern and hilly states rupees 25 lakhs false goods are classified in the gst regime in india sac code false these two as per suggested answer both are false so next d fill in the blanks indirect taxes are i said destination but it is they are telling supply based and you can see the question here gst is a destination based tax so just remember that is also has to come to des uh, destination but they given supply that is also true only but uh, if uh, based means destination will come just remember GST is destination based tax and indirect taxes are supply based tax supply indirect taxes supply GST destination direct taxes are this is correct I told progressive in nature I Indian GST model is chosen from I told German I read somewhere but it is actually Canadian model the GST model is from Canadian country model just remember GST council has been created as per article 297a 297a just remember amendment constitutions in HSN and stand for nomenclature already, already told correct so this is the changes for one three four changes are there just made it next we start with the section B that is customs this is I didn't solve I think so let us complete this also choose the correct option for among uh, amongst the four alternatives given the limit of exclusive economic zone of India is 200 nautical mile okay the option A next uh, the safeguard duty imposed shall be in the force of period of 
of four years from the date of its impo imposition and can be extended with the total period of a uh, levy not exceeding 10 years that is option a four years and 10 years second which of the following is tax everyone for the imported goods the date on which the goods cross the custom barrier that is a uh, option d the where the fifth sixth fourth one where the insurance amount is not available for the ascertaining the accessible value for customs due to the percentage of fob value to be taken 1.125 that is option b and here the goods which are same in the respect including physical quantities known as identical good that is a option b this is it uh, done with the objectives wherever who watch the old videos please make it uh, corrections thanks for watching the video uh, if you like the video please subscribe the channel mm, and thanks for watching this video thanks a lot bye bye